Hello and welcome back to another Chateau de Bruges video. As many of you know, we like to read and reply to all of the comments that we receive on YouTube. And one of my favourites this week was one asking to see us in lots of different clothes as you were bored of our work clothes. So I really hope you enjoy this intro, Camila 4 ya 926 um, We've also very recently reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is an amazing milestone. So thank you so much for that. And we really hope that you continue to enjoy our videos. I must also take this opportunity to thank Derek for your very generous donation of 100 pounds. And as you know, your money has gone towards the chain that we're using to hang the chandeliers and the spiral staircase, which you guys will all see very soon. As you may also know, bookings at the Chateau have started to increase for the summer, which means we're getting nice and busy. But if you do still want to book your stay here at Chateau de Bruges, then make sure you do so via our website, which is linked below in the description. As always though, we hope you enjoy watching the video. And if you do, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. And we'll see you next week. So I'm outside in one of the outbuildings enjoying the sun because I've been tasked with spray painting one of the chains or the chain that we've bought for the staircase chandeliers. Um, because believe it or not, buying 20 meters of brass chain to hold over 100 kilos um, isn't so cheap. Um, so instead we've found some, uh, some really strong stainless steel chain um, that is 20 meters long that we are now going to spray paint in some nice shiny gold which matches the gold frames of the chandeliers and uh, yeah we're going to give this a, a quick coat of paint so it's ready to hang. Hopefully you can really see the difference on camera now it's a really good covering nice shiny gold as well compared to the silver so it should should match the chandeliers nicely good morning today is thursday today is a very special day because today is staircase day which means one two and three hedgehogs are going to be hung in the spiral staircase. Now I'm sure that this is going to come with many many challenges which is why we've got lots of people helping today. Um, fingers crossed by the end of today we'll be able to show you three hedgehogs at varying different heights in the spiral staircase lit up looking fabulous. Good morning! Anders, today is Spiral Staircase Day. How are you feeling? Um, excited. <laughs> Good. Do you, do you foresee any issues or do you think everything's going to be plain sailing? Um, actually, I think it's plain sailing more or less because we have uh, been planning. Uh, <clears throat> of course, it's always difficult with a spir spiral staircase and the tower because the height um, and uh, connecting three uh, uh, the chandeliers on, on one uh, cable but uh, a lot of planning a lot of uh, 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 concentration has been going on the last couple of days to make sure so I'm just wait. I cannot wait till having my dinner in the tower tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Despite our optimism, the turret chandeliers took us the best part of two days to feed electrical cables to and from each chandelier, measure and cut the chain, and eventually weave the electrical wire and steel wire through the chain. What follows these shots are the videos that had the least amount of swearing in them. Enjoy! So while Drake and Danielle and Anya are busy downstairs preparing the chandeliers for the tower, um, I've been working on the 
practical side of how we're going to winch the 100 kilos of chandeliers up into position and, and connect onto the hook at the top of the stairs here. So I'll show you what I've done so far. So this is the drop that we're looking to hang the chandeliers into. And there's the hook at the very top um, that we're looking to connect onto. And my process for doing this, it's pretty dark up here, but hopefully my camera will pick up. You can see I've got a winch in place there uh, with a steel cable going down through the ceiling. That will drop down all the way down the center of the staircase and that will run stay there as a safety mechanism for the chandeliers to to take the weight of them as well as the chain um, so the guys now can connect the chandeliers at the bottom i can operate the winch and winch it up and clip it onto the top so in theory that's what we plan to do wish us luck yeah we are thumbs up but i i have a thumb here yeah <laughs> As you may have gathered, this part was quite stressful and with lots of shouting instructions and quietly muttering rude words under our breath about how nervous we were, I thought it best to mute this bit. While the chandelier crew were hard at it inside, King Charles, our resident grunt man, was busy unblocking the chateau's sewer of rocks and, of course, 16th century poo. With the first hedgehog up, it was time to start the bigger middle chandelier. So some time later, the second chandelier was ready to be hung and illuminated. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed for another smooth ride. Okay, you've got weight of two now. As you could hear from the audio that time, everyone kept their mouths firmly shut and allowed the winch man to do his job without any useless instructions like, a bit more, bit more, bit more, yeah. and last one, yeah, that's fine, perfect. What do you reckon, Dan? You heard the boss. As if that wasn't stressful enough, we now have a third, even bigger, even heavier chandelier to hang. And you guessed it, more cable to fit and pull through. 
Yeah, we'll see you in a few hours. Thank you for the, you're so wonderful and easy to work oh, together with. You're very welcome. Mm. We enjoyed it lots. I enjoyed it. <laughs> now we can see it go up. Jake. Well, <laughs> I won't hug you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, all three chandeliers are prepared, they are all hanging from the chain, and we are just about ready to pull them up and turn them on for the first time. So, very momentous moment. We've got lots of people in the stairway waiting to watch that. We've pretty much got 30 seconds. Yep, ready when you are. I'm going to start the cameras, so give me 30 seconds. <laughs> So you know I love to spoil you guys, and therefore, we've provided four different camera angles of this one, so I'm fully expecting you to watch it four times to make sure that you can see it from every angle. <laughs> Check the switch. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. <laughs> Let me try this one. Three, uh, two, two, one. Nope. Let me try this one. Three, two, two one. Two, one. Two, one. Oh. Oh, in that case. Three. three. Two, one. <laughs> so it's official, they're hanging and they're working, but stay where you are as there's some truly magical shots of the chandeliers coming up. Thank you enough for everything you've done for us. You are a true friend of the chateau. 
and we would love to have a back in time. We have a project on the Indian Apple Sweet Yaw. More than welcome to have that. Thank you. 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 Total confidence. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so I could just um, do more or less what I thought was the right thing. And it, and it has and it has been the right thing, hasn't it? So thank you. As promised, I said I would deliver some truly magical shots of the chandeliers in the staircase, and my word, have I! The chandeliers will forever be a part of the chateau and will most definitely be a huge wow factor for family, friends and guests when they visit Chateau de Bruges. As Dad mentioned already, we cannot thank you enough, Arnas. You're an absolute pleasure to have at the Chateau, and we cannot wait to see you again soon. Here's to the next challenge, whenever that may be, but regardless, I trust that you will do yourself proud once again. So I'm not really sure how to follow that, but I'll give introducing it a good go. Here's some other stuff we did at the Chateau that week. Yep, absolutely smashed it. So it's Saturday afternoon. Um, Jake has been working all day on the video um, to get that ready for you guys for Sunday. And Charles has just come running in from the garden like an excited child telling us he thinks he's found a new well. So he's gonna show us where this well is. So he's just gone to get a spade and we're waiting here to find out, see this exciting new development in the Chateau Gardens. Come with us. So we've caught up with a giant gnome, and yeah. that's going to show us where the well is. So. Well, well, um, <laughs> come this way. Um, we'll have to put this down to Merlin, because first of all I lost the ball, and then I cleared some of the old branches away. And then I found something deep in the dingy dell. Oh, yes, as well. Oh, wow. I wonder if that's the septic tank we were talking about. Well, it could be, but. Anyone else hear the Chuckle Brothers saying, To me, to you, to me, to you. Just a quick test to see how deep the well is. For some reason, Grandad didn't fancy climbing down to test that. Charles and Dad did a superb job cleaning up the lawns for the summer. Now it's just up to the gardener to keep it that way. I guess I'll add that to my list then. So 
so I should probably explain what's going on here. We need to install a new soil pipe for the bedroom four, the King Charles room, and the best way to do so is to come down the side of the chateau, like the others, take it through the caves and into the existing sewer pipes. Easy to do when you're not chasing through 600 millimetres of stone and granite. Okay, so we've managed to get a hole through the wall into the caves, um, to connect a pipe up there. We've capped off the pipe here uh, on the top rather than running it into the uh, roof wall to soak away because we were when worried that the uh, fumes were going to come up from the cellar onto the patio. So we'll put another angle on this pipe and just run it down to, to water the garden. So that will be done at a later time. But the important thing is we're through the wall. We have a piece of pipe in there temporarily. So the next job for me and Charles is to go up onto the veranda here and chisel our way through until we can get a piece of pipe through down to the caves there. So that's our next job. Good morning all, um, here we are on our, our last day at the chateau, um, just checking to see what's growing and what's not growing. Unfortunately we probably won't be here to see that everything grow, um, but the things that we've put in the ground that are quite established are going really well and we're pleased with them. These are some flower seeds that Jake requested, I hope they grow. So do I. You can put them out wherever you like, around the chateau. Yeah. Um, they like the sun though, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. They like the sun. Tomato plants are coming on well. They've got uh, flowers on. Flowers on already, so we're pleased about that. Unfortunately, we won't see them when they get that high with tomatoes on, but uh, um, hopefully they will anyway. We've got the strawberries, as you can see. They're already forming. So we should have a nice early crop here. Yeah, yeah lettuces are now standing up for themselves, so uh, they're obviously going to quite happy there. These are your icebergs. There we got. Hopefully lots of the seeds will grow. Yeah, we want want the seeds to uh, grow and to um, get fairly big, and then hopefully when. Um, the next people arrive, they can plant them out for us, uh, which I think will might be uh, Daniel's granddad. He's an extremely good gardener, nothing like us amateurs. He's quite a professional at it, so he will know exactly what to do. Uh, if he's bought his gardening gear with him, that is, he might not have done so. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see for that one. Uh, hopefully, um, after the it cools down a bit, we'll be back and. Uh, uh, and uh, do a bit more. Uh, we're going to drive out in our, our new ele all electric car. We're going to try and drive out in, see whether we can get all the way down here. I'm sure we can. So uh, that's our next adventure, really. Just try the electric car out. Yep. See you all next trip. Bye.